Hallelujah. We're going to need help, folks. This ministry has been shadow banned for what we stand for and what we believe in Jesus Christ. So we need help. Amen? Amen. We need help. We need people to hit the, hit, no, hit the notification button. <laughs> hit the like button. So we go up the algorithm. That's the way it works, right? If you hit it, then we'll be like it. We'll be, you know, people look for us. But I praise all my beloved fans. I believe I have some <laughs> out there in the YouTube world. And I pray that you help us. I believe we are a ministry that is trying to do something right. We're not claiming to be perfect. We just want to do something right. We want to live holy. You know? And that's the thing that is not here in America. In some churches. People are not living holy. And not only America. That's all over the world. Holiness has become a thing of the past. It's all about money and about prophecy. Honey, you got prophecy and you got money. But you still need to live holy. Amen. You still need to live holy. Amen. God called us to live holy. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. We need to sanctify ourselves, like I was saying earlier. And we need to be unshackled from our boyfriend and girlfriend that is not in marriage. Amen. There's no such thing as boyfriend and girlfriend in, 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 in outside of uh, in, in, if you're not if you're not married to that person. Uh, God is not too happy with that. Amen? Amen. See, I'm, I'm married to my wife, and I can say that I'm a girlfriend. <laughs> Amen? And she can say that I'm a boyfriend. But we legally bound. Bound, bound together as boyfriend and girlfriend legally. Amen. See, you got a lot of illegal boyfriend and girlfriend acting like they're married. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't turn me off. Just listen to me for a minute. Don't tune me out. <laughs> See, some people say they want the real gospel. Mm -hmm. They want the real stuff. See, see I, can't go to, I can't go to these churches today because they don't preach the real stuff. <laughs> Honey, you don't know what the real stuff looks like when it hits you. <laughs> the real stuff is about sanctification and holiness. Amen. Sanctify yourself in your most holy faith. Sanctification is a living contract. With the truth. Sanctification is a living contract with the truth. Somebody say, with the? With the. So, when God is calling you unto sanctification, He's calling you unto truth. Yes, sir. That's what He means. Be honest with yourself. Some folks don't even really trust themselves. Jesus. See, sanctification is a living contract with the truth. It is an agreement enforceable by the law of obedience. You hear what I just said? It's enforceable by the law of obedience. See, it takes your desire and your faith and your, uh, I would say, take your, con the conviction that God has placed upon your heart to really serve him in obedience. Yes, sir. Amen? Amen? It's an agreement. Enforceable by the law of obedience. And the reason Adam and Eve sinned is because they was in disobedience. Amen? So it's a sanctification. Look at neighbor one with that sanctification. That's a hard thing. See, 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 this is a hard message. That, that hit to the very core of your character. Amen? Sanctification will bring you into a living contact with the truth. Once again, I keep saying it over and over. Okay, see, some folks, you got to keep hearing it over and over and over. You know why? And some folks are confused with life. Let's go to John chapter 17, verse 17 through verse 19. John chapter 17, verses 17 through 19 says, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Sanctify them through thy what? Truth. And thy word is what? Truth. So God's word is true. Amen. God's word is what? Truth. Go keep reading. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. Send them into the world. He's talking about the disciple, right? And he's talking about us as well, right? Keep reading. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself, uh -huh. 
that they may also might be sanctified through the truth. Uh huh. They will be sanctified through what? The truth. And what is the truth? His word. Right? So if you want to learn sanctification, it's not like, like you know, well, the church is teaching me, you know, how to separate myself. God's saying, when you learn to separate yourself from the false way of life, from the, 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 the sinful way of life, then you are learning truth. Oh, I know the truth. No, you don't. You don't really know the truth. Because, because if you know the truth, you'll change. Amen. Oh, I want you to tell me the truth. Because you said my person about truth. Liar. <coughs> liar. Come on. They say liar, liar, your pants on what? Liar. They want to lie. See, people really don't want the truth. What they want you to do is give them a variation of the truth. <laughs> that fit their ideals. They don't really want the truth. They see the truth. The, the, the truth don't it hurt me and you. It is the medicine people don't like. But they like to hear it. <laughs> boy, boy, he's telling the truth. You know what? You know what he said? Oh, boy, because see, I'm saying something about you. And they like it because it's not about them now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you go pastor. You tell the truth. Yeah, huh? I'm that person, right? <laughs> but when it hit you, <sighs> I think he's judging me. You know, the truth anymore is a judgment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I heard somebody say they're screaming. No scream yet. There's more to come. Keep reading. Sanctification will bring you into a living contract with the truth. Uh huh. Sanctification will lead you into surrendering obedience. Sanctification will do what? Lead you into surrendering obedience. It will do what? Lead you into surrendering obedience. You, see, you, got, you got folks that is kind of deaf. It will do what? It will lead you into surrendering obedience. If you allow it. Amen. Hey everybody, I love the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. <laughs> oh my God. He leads me. Yeah. <laughs> you see, this is the problem. If the Lord is your shepherd, and if he's leading you, that means the Lord who is your shepherd is leading you unto sanctification, then why you kick against it? Absolutely. And I don't like this Christianity. This is something else. Matter of fact, I don't even like this church. Amen. Somebody was telling, was telling me yesterday, listen, Pastor, I don't, I listen to a lot of messages on YouTube and stuff like that, but I don't hear them talk about holiness. No, sir. I said, son, you know why they ain't gonna talk about holiness? They're gonna lose the audience. They are preaching to the choir mm. unto the pleasure of man. Mm. I'm preaching unto the pleasure of God. Amen. 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 I don't care what man thinks or a man feels. I don't care about the crowd. What I care about how God thinks and how he feels. Because see, my blessing comes from him, not from you. Yes. 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 Amen. My life that is sustained, it comes from God, not from people. Jesus. Whether you like me or don't like me. Whether you unfriend me or friend me, yes, I could care less. Yes, sir. Only person I want not to unfriend me is God. Because many of us are, are ready to unfriend him. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So, hit a little bit of Facebook. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Keep unfriending people. Because you don't like them. God said, I don't like you. As well. Because when you unfriend something, that means you yourself have issues. Yes, yes. You unfriend someone because of what they're saying about you. You don't like it. So you cancel them Jesus. because you don't like what they're saying. Preference is the norm of the day. See, holiness is not about preference. It's about doing what is right. Amen. Sanctification is about working out that which is right. You see, some people, I want, I, 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 want to, I, I want to give up smoking. I want to give up drinking. These are Christian folks. I want to give up sexual immoral behavior. I want, I, I, I want to. I, I, you want to? You don't really want to. No, you don't. 
Anything that you want, you can easily just do it right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get delivered. But you see, there's an attachment. Oh, my God. So when you say, I want, you say, but. Mm. You go to conjunction. Mm-hmm. But. God said, yeah, I'm going to slap that butt. <laughs> With correction. Yes, sir. I didn't cuss. No, I just used that conjunction. That's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. I just didn't. I just a conjunction, didn't I? Yes, All right. I just, just making it clear that people say, "Oh, he cussed. He ain't saved." I didn't cuss. Now why did I cuss? Amen. Come on. Only when you yield to the superior influence of the Holy Spirit. Uh huh. Only when you yield. Only when you yield. Come on. Sanctifying your life will produce good fruit. So only through the Holy Spirit you can do what? Sanctify. Sanctify. No. Only when you yield to the superior. <laughs> Influence of the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. I just cleared that up just a few minutes. He gave me that spanking, that mm-hmm. conjunction part. Amen? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sanctifying your life will produce good fruit for the master's table. Which means if you want to be a good and productive Christian, you got to learn sanctification. Yeah. Not leaning upon the, 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 the weakness of the flesh, but in the power of the Spirit. That's why we don't read the word of God. This is a shame in America or anywhere else that this word is not being read. Yes, sir, Pastor. Forgive us. You got smartphone, but got dumb person using it. The phone is smart. Yes, sir, Pastor. But the individual with the phone is dumb. Borderline stupid. Or maybe I signed to the crazy home. Because I've seen people walking and doing one of these right here with their phone, and the car is coming and they're still walking. <laughs> and I guarantee you they're not reading anything. They are looking at something. Because people don't read today. They just look. Yeah. And laugh. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen. But when it comes to something good for your soul, a good vitamin, we don't want it. Come on. Faith is the instrument in securing sanctification. Faith is what? The, is the instrument in securing sanctification. So your faith in Christ will help you to secure sanctification, which means your faith, you say, I believe in Jesus Christ, I mean you're going to do exactly what he said. You don't love me until you obey my commandment, right? Yeah. That's what Jesus said. If you love me, then you'll do what? Obey my commandments. He ain't talking about the law of the Old Testament. Some folks are very tricky. Because you say commandment, automatically your mind goes to the law of the Old Testament. <laughs> Read what Jesus command in the Beatitude. Read what Jesus command when he spoke to the Pharisees. Read those are what he's talking about. My commandment. When I tell you this is the way it is. When I tell you I came not to abolish the law but to fulfill it, this is what I'm telling you. Eye for eye, it was once said, but now this is what you do. You turn your cheek. This is what you do. That is the law you're talking about. He was like, well, he, he, no, he's talking also about the Sabbath. Come on, please. Read Jesus. Don't bring this legalistic stuff, legalistic stuff to me. Just read Jesus. And you'll learn a whole lot of stuff. Yes, sir. And listen to idiots telling you stuff that is not right. Amen? Amen. Come on. Surrendering the will to sanctification, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 7 through 17. It says, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until, until he be taken out of the way. He's talking about the iniquity, he's talking about the, 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 the devil's son. He can't come on the scene until the Holy Ghost. Is out of the way. And we are the way. But keep, Amen, keep and then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of, of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God. Did you receive what? The love of the what? Of the truth. That they might be saved. They didn't receive it. Look at what's going to happen because they didn't receive it. 
Keep reading. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion oh that they that they should believe a lie. That they should do what? Believe a lie. But God is not of God. He's loving. He's caring. Listen. Get this notion out of your head. If you reject me long enough, what you want me to do? Yeah. Which God are you talking about, first of all? Yeah. Let's get that in mind. Which God are you speaking about? Is this a generic God? <laughs> Jurassic God? Which God are you talking about? We're talking about Jesus. He's not only love, but he's also judge. Yes, he is. And, he, and, and, and he's very patient. Amen. He has a lot of patience. He does. Yes, he does. Yeah. But they come to a point where it's enough is enough. Amen. And how could I teach you unless I let you go through? Yeah. You're going to believe a lie. In truth, what he's telling you, you've been left behind. Yeah. But I'm not here to teach about that right now. I'm here to talk about sanctification. Keep reading. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, mm. but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Have pleasure in what? Unrighteousness. Pleasure in what? Unrighteousness. See, 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 see. Oh my see God. Just oh, when you reject God and his truth, that means the pleasure that you was involved in not become your truth. Yeah. That's why it's hard for you to extract from that boyfriend. Yes, sir, or from that sinful life. Why are you supposed to be in Christ? Can you believe somebody saying, you know, once saved, always saved. You keep living like a devil, you'll find out what that really means. Yeah. For those folks that say those things, they, they, they didn't die yet yeah. to see the reality of what they say. Well, I because I believe if, if God let them die one day and then show them through his system of understanding Take them to hell. Let them see all the folks that they, they told that nonsense to. I guarantee you when they come back to life, they will change their tune. Yeah. You can't assume a person going to live right because you say that it's okay to do this. You're supposed to let them know that God's standards are high. Don't bring God down low. We need to bring him up high. When we continue to sin, we are bringing the standard of God low. But God is high. God is not equal with us. So if I'm serving God, I'm going to do everything I need to do not to sin. Not to do the stuff that would bring him, bring him anger. Bring him into a place that he's mad with me. He's upset with me. I will fall out of favor with God. Keep reading. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, mm -hmm. because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit uh -huh. and belief of the truth. To what? And the belief of truth. You know, the sanctification of what? Oh, the, the sanctification of the spirit and the belief of truth. So that means the Holy Ghost inside of you. That's, that's a secure old thing. The Holy Ghost that's inside of you. Supposed to be inside of you. <laughs> Someone got Casper's gold. But the Holy Spirit that's supposed to be inside of you. Mm -hmm. Once you got saved, you are, so, you are impregnated with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That Holy Ghost inside of you is supposed to be Helping you in sanctification. He is the, he is the conductor and the guide and the governor of it. Which means that if you listen to the Holy Ghost, you will be able to learn how to live a sanctified life. This is the problem though. The Holy Ghost has to deal with your will. So your will is not changed because you are not reading the word of God to have, co uh, to have relationship with the Holy Ghost, with the word. See, my word do what? Sanctify. Didn't I say that earlier? Uh, John chapter 17, right? My word what? Sanctify, right? Thy word what? Sanctify. So that means if you're reading this word in conjunction with the Holy Ghost, now you have a working mechanism inside of you that's helping you to live a sanctified life. Yeah. But we don't read, correct? Now, the Holy Ghost have a fight to deal with your practified mind. 
That is the fight. The hosts don't want to obey. So eventually, if we continue sinning, I believe the Holy Ghost will leave. He can't remain in a vessel that is constantly sinning. Sanctification involves more than moral reformation of character, which means change of character. Our win needs to come under the power of the truth. I just said it earlier. Our will need to come under the power of the truth. This is what God is asking. This is what he's saying. And we need to do it. Amen? We need to do what? Sanctify. And that's what the Holy Ghost is asking you to do. Amen? You're a partner in this as well. You have to be a, a loyal participant. Which means God is calling you to also allow the Holy Ghost to lead you in sanctification. If he said, don't, 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 don't do this, don't go ahead, don't say that. See, some of our Christian mouth are filthy just like the sinner's mouth is filthy. Well, you know, God ain't through with me yet. My question, when did he start it? So that means what you're saying, each time you're saying, what you're saying, you want to continue doing what you're doing because God ain't through you again. <laughs> God said, I never started. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 You see, I heard a church mouse. He squirted. Squirt. <laughs> like I said again, I'm not here to please you. We're looking for praise from you. I use the scripture so you could know that your name is written down in heaven with the angels, that you did see the scripture today and you heard the voice. Amen. You didn't hear a, a motivational speaker. His words is, in, is, is not valuable before God. Mm -hmm. The scripture is yeah. that you heard the scripture. Amen? Amen. Remember that. Okay, even Paul said, according to the scripture, According to the scripture, according to the scripture, what he's saying, I'm identifying everything I'm saying according to the scripture. All these motiv motivating, motivational individuals, they're just using their words and they, their way of saying things. But it's the scripture. We are judged by the scripture, not by some motivational speaker. He read it, my brother. Where well, until he called you. By our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of you go back in the gospel, the scripture, right? Yes. Ah, uh, there it goes. To the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or by epistle. Now our, now our whether Lord by what? Whether, whether by, by word or uh -huh. epistle. Uh -huh. Letters, right? Yes. Whether by words or letters. Amen. Come on. Now, our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father, which hath loved us uh -huh. and hath given us everlasting consolation uh -huh. and good hope through grace, uh -huh. comfort your hearts uh -huh. and establish uh -huh. you in every good work and uh -huh. word and work. Uh -huh. In what? In what? That he established you in every good word and work. Mm. Establish you in every good what? Word and work. Mm -hmm. So now, where is this weakness? You see, the type of Christianity I think people be living is this wishy-washy. Without guidance of scripture, Christianity. It is my mama say, my auntie say, my grandma say, my cousin say. The question I will ask, is your grandma reading the scripture? Is your auntie reading the scripture? Because whatever she said to you, what I'm saying will be equal to what she's saying if she's using the scripture. If she's using her experience, it's good. But at the same time, it needs scripture. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. It needs scripture, right? Because yes. a lot of us here got a lot of wisdom about Jesus. Mm -hmm. But can't live a nickel of a dime right. Mm -hmm. Our thinking is so... If, if God would allow your thinking to be heard, you'd be ashamed about your thinking. 
Thank God he's the only one that can hear it. Because even in your thoughts, you can't be sinning. Yes, sir. Yes. Why? Because the more you think of that sin, the more you begin to act upon that sin. And you'll craft different words and different things so you could have that which that sin you've been thinking about in your mind. Jesus. A sanctified mind is a clean mind. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sanctify is a special is a special office of the Holy Ghost. Somebody says sanctification is a special office of the Holy Ghost. Sanctification. Next slide, my brother. Sanctification is a what? What is sanctification is again? The office. The office. Boy, you only have a few partners out there. Sanctification is a what now? Is the, the office of the Holy Ghost? Not your office. His office. So you can't tell them what to do, amen? amen? But we do. Surrendering the will to sanctification. Surrendering the will to sanctification. Church folks have a hard time surrendering that will. Yes, sir. They have a hard time giving up that will. They feel like they have a hard time giving up that boyfriend in their mind. Well, I like her. Mm, she's sexy fine. There's nobody can hear me saying it, but she's sexy fine. You know, when you toss up in your head, nobody has to, your grandma not going to correct it, so you don't have to worry about it. She's sexy fine. You don't have to worry about nobody correcting your grandma when it's, uh, you know, it's in your thought. You, you know, yeah, I wish, I wish I had his car. I wish I had his money. I wish I had her dress. All this in the church. In the church. Why the preachers? People mind is like, yeah. She acting like that. She a hypocrite. She can't touch me. I think I think she got the devil. That preacher always asking for money. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. I'm sick of hearing talking about money. I gave my last five dollars already. You want more money? I ain't giving him no more. That God never asked for money. No? You better read Malachi. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> see, what, what, see, God got a good program, though. He said, you keep it. Yeah, I'll keep it. I'll put a hole in the bag. Yeah, you keep it. I'll put a hole in the bag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If your little bill come, extra $10, $15. <laughs> How am I going to pay this? You use electricity, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yes. How am I going to pay this? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with these children. No, you're struggling with your mind. Well, you didn't do that what was right. Mm. Jesus, help me pay. Jesus said, first pay my bill. Mm. Amen. Pay my bill first. Mm. People say, well, you know, some of these preachers, they, they're doing fancy plane and do, Listen, that's their business. The God, the God, they're taking God money to do what they want to do. That's, I don't know. That's, that's their business. But I'm saying to you, you do what is right. God is asking you to do what is right, not to look at what he's doing. Amen? Amen. Amen. Remember, whatever you give to God is God's. Amen. So, who has the responsibility of judging that person? It's God. It, it's not no longer my, my money, as they call it. And true reality, when it first comes, it's not your money anyway. Because everything that comes first belongs to God. Amen. So where's your mind? I don't manage to start thinking, me, 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 me. <laughs> this is my money. Me, 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 me. The me, me, right? The self centeredness. Yeah. Right? Amen. But he said, everything that comes out of the matrix, the first thing that comes out of the matrix belongs to God. Yeah. Everything first. You want first. You don't want the second, third, That's leftover. Right. First. First. Yeah. This is the problem with people. Yeah. See, if you can't give God first, how are you going to give him first love? Yeah. Yeah. 
He said, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy mind, all thy soul. Right? Amen. So how can you love him with all your heart? Which is the first commandment. See, everybody like to go to this. Yes. To the other commandments that fit them. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. Amen? But the first commandment I like. Why? It don't have a promise. It have God in it. Amen. The other commandment say, you know, children obey you. That's a commandment with a promise. But when you first love the Lord thy God, is greater than even that which you would be blessed if you love your mother and father. Why? Because you love God with all your heart. So now you're able to love your mama and daddy. You're able to obey them. Amen, Pastor. You're able to do all the commandments. Amen. But the reason we struggle with the commandments, because we don't love the first one first. Oh my God. Amen. Hallelujah. Your tithe and your offering reflect. Your love for God. Jesus. The way you see him is the way you're going to treat him. Absolutely. Right? We want to look the best. Relationship. Yes, sir. Why do you think I want to look? Anyway. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, read, read, read. I'm almost finished. Sanctify. Sanctification involves more than moral reformation of character. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. our, our wills, our will needs to come under the power of the truth. Exactly. The Holy Spirit is the convicting truth. Holy Spirit is the what? The convicting truth. Uh, you just learned something deep. You go back to John, you'll find something else in there that Jesus was talking about. Mm -hmm. John 17. So the Holy Spirit is the what? The convicting truth. The Holy Spirit is the what? The convicting truth. So when the Holy Spirit convicts you, what are you going to do? Repent. You going to do what? Repent. You going to repent? Really? Truly? Truly. Repent. Depending on our will. 99% of the time you're going to fight. <laughs> Just like a rat got stuck in a trap. He, 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 he's, he, he's fighting to, for his life. That each time you wiggle, he's losing air. The more you wiggle, the more you go into the way of sin. Just comply. Why do you want to hold on to rubbish? If, he's, if, the, if the Holy Ghost said, give that man up, which he is supposed to have anyway. Give that man up. Give it up. Well, you know, I can't give him up. <laughs> I just can't do that. The Holy Ghost said, I said, do it. Ah, Holy Ghost, you have to take a back seat today. <laughs> now back to the Hoover Ride. Let me call him for you. I'm going to see my man. Nobody's going to stop me from seeing my man. My man. My man. The Holy Ghost said, oh yeah. I'm going to teach you a lesson. Go see your man. And as soon as you open up that door, you see your man with another woman. Oh. <laughs> Holy Ghost is going to say, he's not only your man, he seems to me that he's somebody else's man. So that which you put ownership in, didn't have no ownership in you. <laughs> well, well, well. Vice versa. She is the only one for me. There's no one in this world, Holy Ghost. I mean, she's a bella, a beautiful. The creme de la creme. Ella tiene mucho. Mucho para mí, hombre. Got a lot for me. Wow, proportion like, oh my God. Can't you see Holy Ghost? Are you blind? <laughs> you want me to leave this good stuff? <laughs> uh, Holy Ghost, you just don't know I'm entrapped by her beauty. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Holy Ghost, say, yeah. Okay. Okay, go see her. Go. Go see her. Go see her. She about ten men in the house. Oh. 
Hey, 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 what you fail to understand, the reason she got 10, can you speak of the administration of God? God is teaching you the administration of wickedness. That you put your trust in flesh, but flesh have other ideas. Amen. 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 So that what you thought was something wonderful above God. Come to find out you've been sharing it with other men. <laughs> and, you, and you such a double that when you kiss her, you're kissing another man. Oh. <laughs> and now I get a little closer, closer ears right now. And when you're having sex with her, you're having sex with another man. Yeah. Preach. Yeah. Okay. That's what the scripture teach. Yeah. Yeah. You sleep with a harlot, you become one. Mm -hmm. You slept with everyone she slept with. That's right. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's the word. word. That's the word. Talk about you in love. You in love with who? You know who the one you in love with. The one, Jesus said, the one you have white right now is not even yours. <laughs> Talk about the, you know, the, the woman I caught. Yeah. Yeah. These are the things we don't understand. The Holy Ghost trying to help us. But you see, we think with our lower part, not our upper part. That's yeah. so true, Pastor. Yeah. So true. Man and woman. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. The only difference with them, they got upper and lower. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> and then you all of it as technical means. <laughs> don't we, don't 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 our eyes gaze on Yes, Pastor, yes, yeah. it's so true. Yeah. It's the truth. Yeah. It's the truth, yeah. Pastor. Yeah. The in the house today. Yeah. That's right. Look at his chest. Just look at his chest, look at his arms. <laughs> Just look at him. He's a, he's a stallion. <laughs> what could he make a good wife? A husband. <laughs> look at her body. She's a 10. Some of us are 20 and 30. She's a 10. I mean, she's a, oh my God, all together, put together 10. <laughs> but is she, is she going to be a good wife? Is she going to focus on herself, most focus on her family? Is he going to focus more on himself, more than focus on his wife? To make sure his family is right. Real man. Real man will get dirt underneath their finger. Yes, and faker go and get in. <laughs> you know, I touch dirt because you know, the mama will raise them in a way that I can't say certain things. Uh, I'll get shot of me. We just make them not not suitable for marriage at the time. Yeah. But see, when God sanctify you, He makes you suitable. Amen. Amen. See, Jesus told that woman to do well. The one, the, the, the one you have not in years. See, I'm trying to sanctify you, lady. Can you get a crazy mind? Mm. You thinking because you worship in this mountain, you are right. You have five husbands, huh? You even deal with that yet? You talk about worship? Yes, sir. Amen. I perceive you a prophet. <laughs> yes, because I, 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 I reveal what you were doing. <laughs> I say you perceive. <laughs> He's a prophet. No, you need to stop your sinning. Amen. That's right. We we see. Look, sanctification is a work of God. Amen. Amen. It's a work of God, and it brings the entire character into a whole. We didn't get to Second Peter. Did we get to Peter? First Peter. No, he said that's right. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end up Peter. Let's end up Peter, and that's we're gonna stop at Peter. Because you need to see it for like for next week. We go back to the we're gonna go we're gonna continue this stuff. It's good. Where's he at? Are you doing something? 
First Peter chapter 1, verses 1 through 2 says, Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, uh -huh. Asia, uh -huh. and Bithynia, uh -huh. elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, uh -huh. through sanctification of the Spirit, uh -huh. unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. Mm. Sprinkling of what? Of, of the blood of Jesus Christ. So even the blood of Jesus Christ is sanctifying you. Amen. So when we sin, what are we, we saying to Jesus? Your blood is not sufficient. You can't even cleanse me. No, see, Christians, anyway, God is good. All the time. God is good. Stand to your feet.